are not far from you. You are not alone. Anywhere you are, you are not far away. We are not far from you. You are not alone. Jesus' name, we give thanks. Through this platform, International Bible Studies, God has established the souls of men. God has done great wonders. He has given us divine wisdom to establish us in this faith. I also appreciate God. He has done us well. He has done us well in holiness Revival movement worldwide. That the word of God is always coming fresh. Every Sunday we are gathered together to receive freshness from the throne. We are going to appreciate God one more time and say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you praise. Go ahead and begin to appreciate him. Go ahead and begin to appreciate him. It's a wonderful goal. A wonderful goal. We have never lacked refreshing. We have never lacked refreshing from the throne. Via his word. Appreciate him. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Worship. Lord, we 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 worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you have been doing right from January till date through the International Bible Studies. How you have been reaching out to the entire world through this platform. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for what you have received from your throne. 
Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we exalt your name. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shout a better amen. amen. I want us to cast our mind back. The goodness of the Lord concerning us right from the beginning of this year. It is not by your part, nor by mind that you are seated here. Many as I speak to you, they are in the hospital. Many as I speak to you, they were rushed to the hospital this morning. Some has been taken to the mortuary just today. Just today. But you and I in the sanctuary of God. In the sanctuary of God. God has done us well. He has delivered us from the hands of the enemy. The Lord has done great wonders for us. Great works in our lives. Let, let's lift up our voices before the Lord and say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, 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 thank you. Go ahead and give him thanks. Bless the Lord. Cause your soul to bless the name of the Lord. Forget not the benefits of a living God. Forget not the benefits of a living God. He has done us well. He has done us well. He has done us well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Prince of peace, we are grateful. Ancient of days, we are grateful. Hallelujah be unto your name. Hallelujah be unto your name. Thank you, Son of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' glorious name, we give thanks. Can we just sing this song together? He has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Jesus. Oh, he has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. I don't know about you, but for me, he has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, he has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Jim, sing it one more time. He has done us well. He has done us well. He has done. He has done. No swear, Jesus, Jesus, he has done no swear, he has done no swear, he has done no swear, Jesus. One more time, appreciate him, one more time, just appreciate him, give him praise, hallelujah. We can't thank him enough, we can't thank him enough. We can appreciate him enough. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and appreciate him for what he has in stock for us today. For all he has in stock for you as an individual, appreciate him. Lord, for the great gifts awaiting me, I appreciate you. For the wonderful gifts awaiting me, Lord, I give you praise. For the great and precious gifts awaiting me in this service, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. 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 For the thoughts he has for us, the thought of peace. He has good thoughts for us. Appreciate him. He has good thoughts for you. Appreciate him. He's your father. He has a great package for you. Appreciate him. We worship you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Every service is unique. For those of us that were privileged to be here in the morning, you will know that the Lord visited us in a unique way. In this International Bible Studies, the Lord has something very special for you as an individual. And do you know he has you in mind? He knows you'll be here. Now you tell God, Father, I want to receive from you. Prepare me to receive from the throne. Go ahead and pray in Jesus' name. Everything you have for me today, Lord, I'm ready to receive it. Prepare me, sanctify me. Holy, oh God, to receive from you. Give me a ready mind, a prepared mind to receive, to receive from you. In the name of Jesus. Ushers, please help us distribute the hymns. Prepare me, O Lord, to receive from you. Talk to God. O Lord, send forth your word my way. The Bible says he sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. There's a sent word for this Bible studies. Oh Lord, send forth your word my way. Let your word benefit my life. Go ahead and pray. Activate my spirit man to receive from the throne. Activate my spirit man to receive the, your fullness of what you have in stock for me. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Please don't be distracted. Activate my spirit man. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We are going to come against every demonic manipulations. Spells, enchantment, divination, all manner of wiles. We are going to destroy them by the blood of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemy must have planned or injected into the spiritual world. Against this internal Bible studies, we cancel them now. We neutralize them now by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. We neutralize them. Neutralize them. All of them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let's cover this place with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Let's saturate this place with the blood of Jesus. Everywhere, 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 the blood of Jesus. Let's saturate everywhere now. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Everywhere, everywhere, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Let's release the fire of the Holy Ghost in the entire auditorium. The fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost in the entire auditorium. In the entire auditorium, 
Fire, fire, fire over Holy Ghost. Fire over Holy Ghost everywhere, 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 everywhere. Fire over Holy Ghost. Saturate this environment, Lord, to your glory. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, take your throne. Hey, take your throne. Take your place in this auditorium. Worship your holy name. Worship your holy name. Worship your holy name. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Is he already? Let's welcome him. Is he already? Holy Spirit, take your place in this service. Holy Spirit, take your place in this service. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Spirit of a living God, we welcome you. Spirit of a living God, we welcome you. We welcome you. Thank you, Son of God. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. And so, our gracious Father, we thank you because of this great privilege we have to be in your presence this day. We thank you for what you have been doing through this platform, the International Bible Studies, reaching out to the entire world to establish our faith, to strengthen us in this path of holiness and righteousness and to stand perfect in your will. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we glorify your holy name, Lord, in Jesus' name. We are here again. Oh Lord, perfect your way in our lives in Jesus' name. For I send forth your word and let your word do us good in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Take charge of this meeting from the beginning to the end. Bless everyone connected in the internet through various platforms. Lord, we ask, let there be free flow in the net in Jesus' name. Thank you, Son of God. We'll cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. No form of distraction whatsoever in Jesus' name. Take over and take charge and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' great name, we pray. Shout a glorious amen. Let's go to our hymns now. Hymn number 48. 48. Let's let the media help us. Put it clearer. 48. Please, if there's any chair in front of you, occupy it. Except the front seats, only for the brothers. Move forward, please. God bless you as you do. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know, thus say the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. How I've proved him over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to trust his cleansing blood. Just, to, just in simple faith. 
to plunge me neath the healing, cleansing flood. Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus just from sin and self to cease. Just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee. Precious Jesus, Savior friend, and I know that thou art with me, wilt be with me to the end. Jesus, how I trust, 
How I moon them or uh, Jesus, 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 precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust in sixty-four. Sixty-four. The old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love the old cross where the dead rest and best for a world of love. Sinners was slain, so I share it, so I share the old rugged cross. Till my trough is at last I lay down, lay down. I will cling to the old rugged, rugged cross and exchange this someday for a crown. On the old rugged cross. So despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me. For the dead Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to the cover. So I share it, so I share it. The horror. Till my trophy is the last I lay down, I lay down. I will cling to the old rock, old rock and cross. And let's change this someday for a crown. In the old rock and cross. Then we blow so divine A wondrous beauty I see I see For it was on the old cross Jesus suffered and died To pardon and sanctify Oh so I share it So I share it The old rock See my trophy is the last time I lay down I will cling to the old rugged, old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a crown To 
the old rugged cross I will ever be true is shame and reproach gladly bear hallelujah then he called me someday to my home far away where is glory forever I sh so I share it so I share it the old rock old rock cross till my trophy is the last time lay down I will cling to the old rock old rock cross and exchange it someday for oh so I share it so I share it the old rock cross rock cross till my trophy is the last I lay down I will cling Let's take a scriptural reading. First Thessalonians 3. Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent to Motheus, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith that no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain." But now when Timotheus came from you unto us, and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, and that ye have good remembrance of us always, desiring greatly to see us, as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith. For now we live, if ye stand fast in the Lord." For what thanks can we render to God again for you, for all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before our God? Night and day praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. Now God himself and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way unto you. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men even as we do toward you. To the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all his saints. 1 Thessalonians 4 Furthermore, then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another." And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. 
But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. For the Lord in prayer, let's worship. We need you, Lord. Jesus name we pray we love you Jesus our hearts are understanding you more and more Lord you are precious unto us We can understand your patience. We have understood your goodness. We see the good work you are making, working among us. Father, this work you are doing must be appreciated, must be accepted, must be preserved. God, even our souls, very precious unto you. Our souls, we commit to you for preservation. Amen. Holiness revival movement that is given to us to remedy the situations we can see in the world today. I pray this movement will be cherished and preserved. Father, people that are to be saved must enter into this ark. Amen. And this ark must save the people. Amen. Must protect the people. Amen. That after this flood of sin and wickedness in the world, there shall be found yet the human race in heaven. People will be coming up even from this generation backsliding and apostate generation people shall yet make the rapture thank you father we love you in Jesus name we pray amen We are considering the message protection and preservation 
of holiness revival movement worldwide. Hore more. Protection and preservation of holiness revival movement worldwide. Hore more. We have much to learn from the past, from the scriptures, and from our generation. We have so much to learn about the damage human beings do to precious things. The damage. We know what well about that. When Moses was born or was to be born, a decree came up, and that was by the manipulation of Satan. And when that child, that, that Moses was born, there was he made the decree that every male born should be killed. Why? Because the devil had sensed the period of deliverance. A deliverer had been born. There was that decree. We will see it also in the case of Jesus that precious one eternal that came down to the earth for human salvation for human redemption but human beings again conspired against him after the flesh and killed him that's man that's man Thank God he did not come to die. I'm sorry, he did not come to live on earth. He came to die for human salvation. It was in divine plan. Otherwise, how would they kill God? But human being will attempt to destroy that which is precious. It's normal. It's normal. So, we have seen ministries rising up with promise. Some of them got corrupted immediately. As they are born, they immediately turn away. Others, after some reasonable years, they turn away. These ones, we have seen them. We have seen ministers. The world had hoped on them. That this minister will bring light and salvation. The light and salvation of the Lord. To us. But the many of them appear like flowers that are scorched with the sun and they wither away. Of course, but they are those who have endured forever. They have endured to the end. Those are our hope. And they made it to heaven. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. The Bible tells us there. From verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock 
that followed them and that rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now, these things were our in some examples. To the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lost it. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them tempted. As some of them also tempted and were destroyed of the serpents. Neither mama ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now, all these things happened unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Verse 12, everybody. Again. Can we stand up and read that portion? One, two, go. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take it, let he fall. Sit down. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you? To be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape. That ye may be able to bear it. Now. We are saying. There have been histories of falls. As we say. Falls of kingdoms. Falls of Churches, falls of even movements, falls of ministers. Why did they fall? The Bible says, with all the grace of God that surrounded them, why did they fall? Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them. They turned to idols. Either they made themselves idols or they turned their eyes from God to something else. That was where they fell. Their eyes left God and they began to celebrate their hero. That was why they fell. They had idols before them. They now went to be molten images. Putting their eyes on images. Substances that they could touch and see. That was why they fell. That's what the scripture says. Neither be ye idolaters as some of them. As it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. They turned the thing into a social activity. They turned the worship of God into social activity. That is where they fell. Because God he is ever faithful. When you turn the worship of God into a social activity, having no serious thing than to entertain yourself, it has become an entertainment. The church becomes an entertainment fellowship. Prayer is for your entertainment now. You will fail. 
That's why they fell. Preaching became entertainment. It became a, a time they would shout and dance and jump. The spirit was not there. Again, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day. Three and twenty thousand fornication. Immorality. They began to lust after their pastors. They began to lust after anointed men. They began to lust after their women, gifted women. They start, began to lust, lust after them. When they cherish the women with grace, the women with gifts, what are they cherishing them for? No, it's not because of the grace of God in their lives. You are looking beautiful. Your body is looking smart. Your face is round. Hey, I love this, your face. That's where they fell. Immorality came into them. The pastors began to commit immorality. Since popularity had come, women were available for them. More than that, special women were sent among them. And those women came for the purpose of immorality. Balak, Balaam, advised Balak, you can't get these people. There's nothing you can do. Their God is strong with them. But do this. Send your beautiful ladies among them. Send your beautiful ladies among them. Even God, their own God will turn against them. So, beautiful ladies have been sent. Who are pretending that the holiness movement, they have come as they have quenched other ones, other churches, other movements, other congregations, arrested other ministers. They have come here also. Their own aim is not anything. When they remove their earring, it's not for Jesus. When they stop their palming, it's not because they're looking for Jesus or heaven. Their master sent them. So, that's what we say. They committed immorality. That's why they fell. That's what the scripture is saying to us. Neither let us tempt Christ. As some of them also tempted and were destroyed of the serpent. Tempted because they could commit sin and say grace was there. The grace of God was sufficient. A pastor was quoted of, being, of saying, you, you think, don't commit the sin I commit because my grace is higher than yours. Grace. Shall we continue to see that grace be abound? That's a temptation to Christ. When the devil came to Jesus and said, if you are the son of God, jump down from this mountain. For it is written, he will give his angels charge over thee. And they shall bear thee with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. What did Jesus say? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Don't do that. Is there any need for jumping? If somebody is somebody pursuing you, what are you jumping for? Why are you so careless like that? Why could you be so exposed, so careless? No, my God is there. Don't tempt the Lord. Satan is a professional. He has been in this world for decades, uh, for how many thousands, millions, thousands of years. And he is a professional in his business. You are so careless. Let's be careful. Let's walk circumspectly. For the days are evil. Don't tempt Jesus. Be careful. Don't cut the promise of God in vain. That promise. 
It took the blood of Jesus to activate that province. And so it cannot be claimed by a careless person. Neither let us tempt Christ. As some of them also tempted. And were destroyed of the serpent. Neither mama ye. As some of them also murmured. And were destroyed of the destroyer. Complain. Little thing complain. Little thing complain. Yes, a very healthy church, healthy ministry. Satan can send complainers unto them. Come, who, who were those people that were complaining against the food that the children of Israel were eating? Who were they? Numbers chapter 11. Numbers chapter 11 verse 4 and the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lasting and the children of Israel also wept again and said who shall give us flesh to eat we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There's nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes. Who caused the children of Israel? Graceless people. They were the ones that introduced murmuring. Mixed multitude. They never had grace. They were not children of God. They were not born again. Else the grace to be patient would have been with them. The grace to endure would have been among them. Would have been in their lives. But they were not, having, they were not children of God. So this mixed multitude inspired the original children of Israel. Why are you keeping quiet? You don't know what is going on? You don't know what is going on? Why are you keeping quiet? Why are you sitting still? You allow these things is going on like they say God, God, and you are taking it like that? It's not like that. If he's God, what about the onions we have been eating in Egypt? If God is involved, we should even eat better onions, garlics, cucumbers. They should be more multiplied and, and free. And you are keep, keeping quiet. Oh, we didn't know this thing. You reminded us. Hey, we want garlic. We want. Uh -uh. Mixed multitude. That the devil will say among you. And say, come. What do you say about your international director? You are keeping quiet. The way that man is doing the thing. Uh, you are just keeping. You big, big mean. Like you are coming to sit down quiet and be watching somebody. What is happening to you? Are you senseless? Is it that there's no preacher among you that you will sit down, be playing CD, and be watching? What do you mean by that? Uh, you're not tired. You're not feeling. Me, I'm feeling sleepy. How will you not feel sleepy? Do you have interest in the word of God? Are you a child of God? Do you have interest in the word of God? These people have been captured by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the spirit in them is yearning to the father. And the father is feeding them. They're not even aware whether it is CD they're listening to or somebody is preaching. They are taking the word fully. But mixed multitude. They are not, they are, they are not children. They are witches and wizards. They are there to cause confusion. To scatter the work. For they have come for the scattering of the work. And so they introduce murmuring among the children of Israel. And complaints are coming up. Complaints are coming up. People cannot bear themselves anymore. People cannot bear their leaders anymore. Little mistake they cannot bear. They cannot bear. They must complain on it. They must write petition on it to the headquarters. They must gang up on it. That little thing. They cannot bear. Some of this mixed multitude will steer up the people but hide themselves so that they will not be discovered because they have more work to do in that place. So that they should not be discovered. Mixed multitude. 
So, neither mama ye. As some of them murmured. And God became angry against them. Moses was a natural stammerer. You are complaining? Over stammering. The stammering of Moses. That is natural. The man is not speaking. Ah, mm, 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 mm. uh, ah. Uh. A man that has power with God. A man the Lord uses to do great wonders. A man leading you to the promised land. Is he stammering you're complaining about? Oh, multitude. That's what the word of God is saying. Neither mama ye. As some of them murmured. And were destroyed of the destroyer. All these things happened unto them for examples. And they are written for our admonition. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. Can you now understand? Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed, lest he fall. Do you know that this fall is not automatic? That the fact that that other ministry fell does not mean we will fall. That the fact that that other great minister was humbled by the devil does not mean that I will be humbled by the devil. Does not mean that you will be humbled by the devil. The reasons are given. Are otherwise, although trials will come, difficulties will come. Verse 13 says, there had no temptation. Taking you by such as is common to man. But God is faithful. God is faithful. You can depend upon God. We can depend upon God. That whatever trials, whatever the storm, the wind, the temptations, we shall stand. As far as God is concerned, we shall reach the end. Let us just fix our eyes on him and keep ourselves from sin. Nothing. No power of Satan. No gibbings of the devil. No schemes of evil. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. All in vain. They will do all their schemes. Plan all their wires. Poison all the food. Pollute all the places. But everything will be wiped away. Amen. 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 Wow. God is fed for everybody say it. Say it again. Say it again. I am therefore speaking to you that have been sent to holiness movement to, to, to affect it because you think you did so in other churches. You affected other churches and you pulled them down. Our God is faithful. You will never succeed. I say you will never succeed. It's a dangerous thing. Don't pollute the ministry of Elisha. Otherwise, the leprosy of Naaman shall follow you to your generation. If you think to abuse the ministry of Elisha, that holy man of God, you want to abuse his ministry, the leprosy of Naaman, the judgment of our God shall pursue you to your children, to your children's children. To the fourth generation. Be informed. We are aware. We are aware. So be informed. Yes. Wow. Holiness revival movement. A precious thing like this. We must protect it. Do all to protect this movement. That it will not collapse. Do all to protect the international director. That he will not collapse. Do all to support the leaders and protect them. That they will not fall away. Do all to support the members. That they will not be corrupted. That's what we say. Now, it's necessary. God himself tells us. The, because he knows man he knows man this Satan that we are calling Satan 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 uses man are you hearing me? 
He says, Satan, Satan, Satan. He uses man. He uses man. And God knows what man can do under the hand of Satan. In fact, what man can do apart from Satan, then what man can do when he is joined up with Satan. So God knows the value of protection. Look at it in Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, verse 20, 22 to 24. The Bible tells us here saying, And the Lord God said, And eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So, he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the, the tree of life. Can you understand that? Two things he did. One, See, man has failed. He drove him out. He didn't manage a bad man in a holy place. Don't manage a bad man in a holy place. That person that has shown that he's not worthy, get him out. Let favor be shown to a wicked man, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, we will commit iniquity. But when thy judgments, the thy judgment is in the land, the people learn righteousness. So, get that man out. Get the polluted man out. It's cancerous. Since the cancer is just in the finger, they will want to cut off that finger. So that it doesn't pass to the other part of the body. That's what we're saying. But more than that. When he got him off, the Bible said, he, God was protecting the tree of life. Because in his own sin now, if he has access to the tree of life, he will be sinning and living forever. He will be sinning and living forever. Therefore, God sent a flaming salt on the garden. That's what he said. God put a flaming salt which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. That man, but you say, hey, but you send man away now, and will he come? God said, don't talk like that concerning man. This is your man that can invent many things. This man that does a lot of research. This man that can seek out many things. Go to the depth and climb up. I will tell you the distance between the earth and the sun. You are playing with him? God put a flaming sword to preserve that place. Brethren, we have understood. This movement is a tree of life. God has used it to save people. You have been saved. You have been purified. Yes. God has preserved you by this movement. The word of God. That it preaches. That comes out of this movement. Comes out of the preachers of this movement. If we don't do anything. Satan. We want holiness movement to continue but in sin. If we don't do anything to promote, to protect this movement, this tree of life shall no more, shall be destroyed. People will just be glorying in sin. Have we not washed it? Have we not hurt it? Is it not there in history? Is it not there in our contemporary world? Let's protect this movement. Protect it. Again, I told you God knows. In the book of Matthew chapter 2, when salvation visited the earth, 
That is man. In Matthew chapter 2, now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his, his star in the east, and I come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. He has heard that a king had been born, and he is a king too. Which king has been born? What do you mean by that? Okay, they said a, a king will be born to the Jew. Oh, he has come? <laughs> we will fight ourselves. We will fight ourselves. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it is written by the prophet. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Eh. So even this has been prophesied. And it is the voice of God. Man has no excuse. This is the voice of God. Man has no excuse. He will not say he does not know. He will not say, it's not with God I'm contending. It's with God because this is the voice of God. It is written and it's coming to pass. You're not afraid? This is the voice of God. With all this, then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently. He gave attention to this matter. What time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me what again, that I may come and worship him also. Is he telling the truth here? Instead of saying, I may come and kill him, he said, I may come and worship him. That's man. His ways are no original. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it joyed with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. God was protecting the child. He knew the mind of God, or the mind of man. What are you doing to protect holiness movement from her enemies? You know them. You know them. What are you doing to defend holiness movement? You know their attacks. Where their attacks are coming from. Oh, you say, no, it's a movement of God. Eh, God can do it. God himself knows that protection is necessary. Are you not a child of God? Are you not seeking the good of God? Cannot God use you to defend this movement in your state? To defend this movement in your nation, to protect this movement from quenching, somebody is setting fire on holiness movement, and you stand there to him that knoweth what to do and does not do it. To him it is sin. Do you really serve your God? See what this movement has done in your life. See what this movement has done to your family. See what this movement has done to your neighbors. See what this movement has done to your parents. See what this movement is doing in the world. You can't protect it. God will protect his son because it's for the salvation of the whole world. He's the one that will give him glory. Man is dead. They're all waiting for him. And it was his promise that he, he will come up. He will protect him. And when 
They were departed. Behold, an angel, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee what again. Why? Let's read that together. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Look, note that word young. Defenseless child. Great promises over that child, but it's young. Great works will be achieved by that child, but he's young. Great mountains shall be moved by that child, but he's young. As young now, it's defenseless. Are you aware why holiness movement is young? That is still a child. How many years? There's great promise. God has laid great promise on this movement. But he's still young now. He's still young. So young. The government can stand up and say, no holiness movement again. Everybody will, everybody will run and go and hide. He's young. He's young in your place. He's young. Just very few. What are you doing to protect that defenseless movement? But it will catch fire. And when it eventually comes to full age, that society shall be consumed with righteousness and holiness. When holiness revival movement shall come to full age, the world will shake. Because the Lord said, once again I shall shake the heavens, and the heavens shall shake the earth. And we will shake the heavens, and the heavens shall shake the earth. But we're still young. We need protection. For Herod is seeking that child to destroy it. Man wants to destroy it. Man is looking for every way to destroy it. You didn't hear that we escaped terrible accident? You have been hearing of death now. How many days ago? Is it not four days or is it up to five days now? The trailer would have pieces everything. Maybe fire, Satan would have released fire, burn everything out. So that even you can't see boom. Then they say the matter has finished. Everybody should go home. Everybody return to your church. <laughs> that's the devil's plan that's the devil's plan he's seeking the young child's life the devil is busy doing that and since he does not get he doesn't have another job he will continue to be trying since this one failed he will try another one he will try another one that is it so, that's what we are saying. The child must be protected. So, when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the date of Herod. Herod will die. Amen. All those looking for the harm of this ministry, the Lord shall bring them to an end. Amen. Why do you want to die too early that they send you to this ministry and you are agreeing? You want to fight God? Because you want rank. Which type of rank will you do you need in this world? Rank to do what? Have you don't you study history? What's the history of the most wicked person? Where is he? What has he done in this world? The most wicked his person. We went to Germany. They didn't tell me where Adolf Hitler's house is. Can you be more wicked than him? Can you kill human beings more than him? Why are you wasting time on nothing? On a failing kingdom? A failed kingdom? We want to get you recovered from among them. So, until the date of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. You think God is a weakling? Hey God, where are you allowing them to be chasing your son like that? 
Everything is under plan. Perfect wisdom. Perfect wisdom. I say perfect wisdom. Our beloved mommy, Sister Linda, told a story, a revelation. When we were in Bayelsa, she said, in a revelation, she came to my room and saw me lying. On top of me was a mighty angel. Great. She never even saw the size of that type of angel, even when the Lord took her to heaven. Mighty angel lying on top of me. And when she just, she, the angel saw noise at the door. He looked at her. His eyes were blue. Who is coming there? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then she she was wondering, ah, this mighty angel, if anything happens and he just falls down on the pastor, pastor will be pieces. The angel smiled. <laughs> he said, I've been here for a long time. For the work he has been asked to do, I've been sent to protect him. Amen. 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 Then, if, now, if he said, I go with him always, then she was wondering, what about when we enter vehicle and are going? You are, this angel is too mighty to enter any vehicle. Again, he laughed. He said, when the pastor is in vehicle, I carry the vehicle. <laughs> hallelujah! I say hallelujah! <laughs> That's the work of God. But let us say this so that people should not think that we are empty. People should not think that we are just free like that for you to do whatever you want. No, not on us. We keep the righteousness of God. We keep the holiness of God. And righteousness delivered from dead. So, that's how it went. Yes. Verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that of the wise men was exceeding wrought and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the course thereof from two years old and under according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet saying in Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not can you see that you see the wickedness of man the selfishness of man the pursuit of man against God to the point that Okay, since we cannot identify him, let's assume he's among these 5,000 small children. Let's assume he's among these 10,000 small children. Dead from two years old, down. Clear everyone. Man. That's man. Yeah. Man. Protect this movement from him. Protect our leader from him. Protect your fellow being in the righteousness of Christ from man. Yes. That's what we want you to know. Verse 21. I mean, let's read again from verse 20. But when the hero was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother. 
and go into the land of Israel for they are dead which sought the young child's life and he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel and when he had he, he heard that Achilles, Achilles did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod afraid to go to Peter notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. I speak of two things. Fear. Dream. Here we see God leads by fear. God leads by dream. Your mind is not clear. You are apprehensive. The thing is, no. If I go that way, a voice of Satan is, oh, go, God will be with you. That's the tempter. God, please, if you, no, no, no. I don't think so. Me, let me come this way. And it was the will of God. It was the voice of God directing him. Again, dream. Do you believe that God gives dream? Man, do you believe God gives dream? Yes. Then who told you that your secrets are hidden? Who told you that you can be in this place and it, you will not be spotted out? Except God chooses it. Otherwise, the secret of God is known by, his, by the righteous. He knows how to reveal secrets. He revealed secrets. He revealed secrets. So, that's what we need to understand. So, the Lord spoke in dream. Take note of this. And that was done. Amen? And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. So you can see that. Protection. Very important. Listen, John chapter 2, verse 23 to 25. John chapter 2, verse 23 to 25. Jesus, being God himself, could be so cautious to, for the protection of himself and his ministry. The Lord grant us this understanding. When therefore he was risen, I'm sorry, verse 23, now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name. When they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man for he knew what was in man. That's man. Who created man? Who created man? Jesus. God. Jesus is his earthly name when he was man. Otherwise, that's God. He said he knows man. Deal with man with care. Even with the man that professes faith. Deal with him with care. Otherwise, Caesarea, the captain of Jabin's army, was running away from Enemies that were pursuing him. Jael, the wife of Jael, was saying, Oh, come here, my Lord. Come here, my Lord. Come and have your race, my Lord. That is man. If he had known, he would have continued his running. But the smiling of the face of that woman confused him. So he turned to, his, to her side. More than just a smiling face. He said, can I get water? No, your situation needs more than water. He brought milk. Water will quench taste, but will not give strength. I want to give something that will quench both the taste and strength. Or rather, let, take milk, take milk. Because you have not eaten for long. In fact, if you drink water now, your stomach will bite you. How, 
could how charitable and nice. Okay, I, he said, "Can I have re- yes? Enter this place and lie down there. Cover yourself. If anybody comes and asks of me, say and asks of anyone, don't say I'm here. Ah, uh-uh. lie down quietly there." I don't need anybody to come before your case will be over. That's my. That's my. And while he was first asleep in peace, to pain a warrior is to tell him that a woman killed him. <laughs> That's the shame, the most shameful thing to the nation. That a woman, ordinary woman, killed our captain is a great shame. But that is what that man received. The woman went and used a nail first and hit it on his foot, on his side, on the uh, on the part of his head, straight to the ground. The man could not move. Ma. The God of man said, be careful with him. Be careful with him. He created many. How many has he saved? When he gave man himself, how many has God saved? With all the sacrifice that involved the life of God himself. How many? That's why be careful. Protect this movement from man. He said he has believed. He said he has changed. We appreciate God. But watch. If another thing is happening, don't excuse it all. Because you're dealing with man. Yes. Again, in the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 7 to 11. Mark, chapter 3, verse 7 to 11. But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. And he spake to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they would throng him. They would throng him. Who was talking this one? Who was talking this one? He had, for he had healed many in so much that they praised upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues. Man. Hmm. Have you seen a dog lying down and yet the dog is, is dead? Oh? Something caught, happened to that dog. But the young of the dog were busy sucking the milk of the mother. Have you seen that? Or in an accident, a woman had an accident, was lying helpless, and the child, nothing happened to the child, and the child was busy looking for the breast. Ah, uh-uh. ah. Man wants himself, his own. He's selfish. However tired you are, l- l- remaining me, remaining me, please, remaining me. <laughs> because it is his own. And they can dry up the place and go their own way. Jesus said, please, shift this boat inside the water. Let me sit there. Otherwise, the, 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 uh, the struggle going on now, everybody is looking for his own. Everybody, everybody, they will end up pushing me down and march upon me. That is the voice of God. Can't we therefore protect ourselves? 
We must protect ourselves. Amen. Amen. Why are we saying this? Because of the destructive nature of man. Destructive nature of man. Wicked nature of man. Reckless nature of man. Hardened heart of man. Madness of man. That's why we're saying this. In Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. I read verse 5. Genesis 6, verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. How? We are here in peace. You will find man sitting here, his heart is boiling. He's in pain. He's angry. He's angry. Look at them. They say they are holiness. They won't continue. Ah, what have we done to you? <laughs> Are you hearing me? Every imagination of the thoughts of his heart is only evil, not once but continually. And out of the treasure of the heart. He does not only speak but carries out action. It is only evil. That's man. That's man. That's why we say, be careful. And he repented the Lord that he had met man on earth in proper order. He is wonderful. When man is with God, regains the nature of God. Hey, he is wonderful, beautiful, excellent. You will say, God, you have made the, you have really, you have a creature. You have a creature. Among creatures, you have a creature. That's man. But let that man turn off. Let that man. Uh, uh, I was somewhere, and uh, a particular lady. The sister to a ah, this person is good. Oh. I'm told that wait for her to be angry. <laughs> you will forget every laughter you have seen upon her face. Yes. You will regret coming across as a human being. That's man. If evil comes into man, if man becomes evil. He will want to overtake Satan. That's man. The nature of man. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? Deceitful, even deceiving the man himself. Because many times you don't know you are like that until when trouble comes. You don't know. After you have handled that thing with the fing fingernails of pussy cats and turned that thing, you say, Eh? Is it me? Me did like, ah, 
is it me is it you i said we should protect this thing from you you are talking something because we don't know keep this thing well that even you will not hurt it tomorrow even you because you don't really know the type of action you will take tomorrow because you're a man let's protect this thing <laughs> if the sun was not kept far above man human being would have altered the condition of the sun so let's keep this thing beyond man keep this movement beyond man so that he does not come to destroy it it's precious for us it's our salvation it's the salvation of the world it's the hope of God the Lord's last hope let's put it so ah Jesus will worship yes his plans are wicked his plans can you tell his plans? Let's look at the book of Psalm. Psalm 41, verse 5 to 9. Psalm 41, verse 5 to verse 9. Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? And his name perish. They are having a problem with that name. For you to come and be exalting the name of one man. And say God is with this man. And God is using this man. They are sitting down and say don't worry. He will soon not be there. They are not happy with promoting the name of a man. They are waiting. They are planning. For his death. When will, when will he die? That his name perish. And if he come to see me. He speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad. He telleth it. All that hate me. Whisper together against me. Against me do they devise heart. What are they saying? An evil disease. Say they cleave it fast unto him. And now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Eh, what do you say? Coordinator is sick. What is happening? He said his stomach. His stomach. Inside the man is laughing. Laughing. I told him. He is playing with. I told him. You will deliver yourself from man. Amen. And you will deliver yourself from yourself. Amen. And you will come to totally new life. Total in all ways. A new system. If any man be in Christ. It's a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold all things become new. Yes. He said an evil disease. Cleave it unto him. And now that he lied, he shall rise up no more. Yeah, my own familiar friend. In whom I trusted. Who did eat of my bread. Had lifted up his heel against me. How will you take it? With laughter in his mouth. So familiar. That I, you could not suspect anything. You could not suspect anything about him. My own familiar friend is the one that is poisoning my food. Is the one that is planning with the assassins on me. But 
I have been giving you some gifts now. He said, what? My heart doesn't take those gifts. The person I'm looking for is yourself, not the gift. May God dethrone man perfectly in holiness of our movement. Amen. And let God be glorified. Amen. Man will lose his power here. Amen. Yes. Psalm 55, verse 12 to 14. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was, he, was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid from myself from him. But it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together. And walks unto the house of God in company. Ah, ah. It's you. If you want to know who man is, ask from the man who has died. He, he, he is in hellfire with great surprise of his fellow men. What fellow men have done to him? Some wives are in great surprise. They are in, they are in hellfire, burning, yet shocked about what a husband can do. And so some husbands too, they never thought their husband would give them up for a sacrifice. Never thought it. They never thought with all they have done for their wives, their wives will collect poison from another man and poison their food. They never thought it. That's why they were relaxed. They would have been protecting themselves. They would have been careful, but how will you be careful with your wife? How will you be careful with your husband? But that is it. That is it. Verse 21. The weights of his mouth were smoother than butter. But woe was in his heart. His weights were softer than oil. Yea, were they drawn swords. Bro, I'm telling you, God will take us forward. We will take us. Are you hearing me? He's, he's speaking with a smile. And he's confident. I'm confident of this thing. I'm confident of this thing. It shall happen. As far as I'm concerned. If it requires fasting and prayer, I'm ready. But inside, a burning fire is going on. How do I terminate this thing? How do I bring this man to an end? Frustrate him. He is here. He can tell you about a future. Bro, when I was sleeping, the Lord shot. In fact, He has shown me this dream five times now. I saw you doing something exactly like Holiness Revival Movement. It was marvelous. The Lord's glory was great. But I said, Lord, already you have given us this movement. Why do you want Him to go for another one? The Lord said, I want to multiply movements in the world. So, I have chosen him as number two. Do you know what he wants you to do? He wants you to leave this place because the way he looks at you, the position he is eyeing, it may fall into your hand. 
So he wants to get you out of the holiness movement. When you go, he will still be here. Although he's promising that he will come, he will follow after. Man. His weights. Very smart. He's making promises. He's telling you revelations the Lord has shown him. Revelations the Lord has shown her. But no genuineness in that matter. No genuineness. Is seducive spirits. After he has gotten your confidence, he will slay you. So, that's what God wants us to know and be careful about. And be careful. Man is selfish. He's thinking of his own. Every time, my own. He's angry that somebody else is making progress. He's comp man likes competition. I, will, I will also will come up there. I also will come up there. Is it by competition this movement came out? Are we eyeing another movement somewhere? Did we even know it would be like this? It's just by God's work. Not because we were competing with another person. Yet the tomorrow of this movement still lies in the hand of God. Still lies. We go as it dictates to us. Now, to round up this message. With, because of situations and because of man. Because of the examples we have Seen in life, which scripture has laid before us. We need wise men to meet together for this work and reason. How do we protect this movement? We need wise people, wise hearted people. Let's sit down and think. How do you think we can protect this movement, holiness revival movement, from man and Satan? That's the question. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13 to 18. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13. The Bible says, This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me that I mean, there was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that that same poor man then said I wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his ways are appreciate wisdom. We appreciate wisdom. And our God says we should ask for wisdom. That's why we appreciate you. We want your contribution. We want what you will say in wisdom. We do. To make holiness movement finish its course. Take its course to the finish. What can we do that all the great king that has come to besiege us now? For we are few. We are few still. What can we do that this great king will never be able to conquer us? That's what we are asking you to do. The Lord says we should. The Bible says. I speak to your shame. 
Is it so that there is no a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. Is there no wise man among you that can bring forth suggestions that will preserve our lives? Suggestions that will keep this movement? I trust we have them. And I trust you are one of them. Then, tell us by the wisdom of God, what do we do? Enemies have been sent against us. They have even come in right among us. What can we do? We're looking for Timothy. Paul is calling for Timothy. Timothy, you know, this work, I'm not doing it for myself. A great generation or generations are going to follow for several thousands of years. Or for some thousands of years. 2,000 years about that now. And they will benefit from this work. So, but the devil wants to attack this work. He wants to stop it. He doesn't want this work to move away. Now, Timothy, I see that you're selfless. You're not looking for your own. We have been together in ministry for all this while. You have not said you want to go and start your own. You're always available. And I see that you have natural care and concern for this work. Timothy, how do we preserve this ministry? How do we preserve this movement that it will reach to future generations if the world is still there? That the purpose of God should be accomplished. Yes. We need passionate men. Men that are passionate for the holiness of Christ. Men that are passionate for the holiness of Christ for this thing. In the book of Colossians chapter 4 verse 12 Epaphras who is one of you a servant of Christ saluted you always laboring fervently for you in prayers that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God for I bear him record that he had a great zeal for you and for and, and them that are in Laodicea and them in Hierapolis we are looking for people that are passionate for the holiness of the church of Christ. The laboring, the perfection of the church, the completeness of believers in all the will of God is their desire. Now, my brother Epiphras, you know we have been able to succeed to some extent. We have been able to bring many people to righteousness and holiness. Now, God is glorified in their lives. They now live their lives in the will of God. Many, how do we preserve this ministry? How? Because we have only been able to reach a few men. And remember, we are to go to all the world. See, man is among us. I mean the other man. You know the other man? Not the original men like you people who have accepted Jesus, who are cleansed, who are washed, indwelt by the Holy Spirit, longing for heaven. But I'm talking about the other man 
who is the firstborn of Satan. I'm talking about him. Epiphras. Man is here. And we have started seeing his sign. See him sitting over there. He's already shaking his body. <laughs> what do we do to ensure that this movement continues? That this righteousness spreads. That this movement cannot be defeated by the devil. By man or by the combination of Satan and man. Epaphras. <laughs> we need counsel. Let's discuss it together. That this movement in various cities and nations, even in villages, will not quench. That's why you're here. Man, the good man now. You are welcome. Please welcome him for me. <laughs> Amen. So, Practical discussion will follow. Let's rise up upon our feet. Commit yourself to God and say this movement must be preserved. Revival movement. Protection and preservation of holiness revival movement. The man outside there wants. The harm of the movement. And the man inside. Also. Is being used. By the same devil. To fight against the movement. But the movement must be protected. And preserved. To fulfill its own purpose. To the glory of God.
deliver this movement from the hands of the evil men. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, deliver this movement from the hands of the evil men. Whether they be leaders, whichever position they are occupying, oh Lord, deliver your movement from these evil men. All that needs to be removed, oh Lord, remove them. Remove them, oh Lord. There's much work to be done. The world is waiting for us. The Lord God Almighty is waiting on us. Heaven is waiting on us. Oh Lord, deliver this movement from their hands. In this coming year, oh Lord, everyone, evil men, those that have planted evil in their heart, those that the devil has planted in this movement, that are evil, oh Lord, judge them. Remove them. They will not prosper. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to him. You have a part of play. You have a part of play. You have a part of play. I have a part of play. Lord, help me to play my part. To protect this movement. All I have to do, oh Lord, help me to do it. To protect this movement from evil men. Is somebody praying? Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Son of God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shout a better amen. amen. One of his strategies is to remove you. One of the end, the plan of the enemy is to remove you. To remove the original. And allow the hypocrites to remain. To crumble the, 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 the mandate of God. We are going to pray. Oh Lord, establish me in this movement. Establish my feet in this movement. No evil will remove me. You as an individual, myself as an individual. Lord, no devil, no works of darkness, no agent of darkness. Father, preserve me. Preserve me, O oh Lord. Preserve me, O oh Lord. Preserve me, O oh Lord. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. We worship. We worship. We worship. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory for this great privilege. To hear what we are hearing today. Many who heard this have been swept off. They were there directly. They heard this war. But today, the testimony is sour in their mouth. But Lord, you have brought us in. We are asking, oh God, that you preserve us to the end. In the name of Jesus. Help us to take our place in you in this movement. Help us to play our part and to play it well. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And as for us, we believe and we pray that we shall stand to the end. Thank you, Son of God. 
In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And for the word of the Lord has come forth, can you put your hands together for Jesus? I believe you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Shout a glorious amen. Please bring out your offerings quickly and your tithes as we begin to round up quickly. Lift it up before the Lord. Father, we thank you for this blessing you have given to us and the blessed message that has come our way. Father, we are grateful. Jehovah, we are grateful. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Before you, we have brought this token and we are asking, O oh God, you bless it, sanctify it, and let it be used, O oh God, for the fordrance of your word and your mandate here in Jesus' name. Thank you, Son of God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Give me all in my lamp, I pray. Give me all in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the close. Give me oil. Burning, burning. I pray our hands together. Volume. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp. I pray. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning, oh, keep me burning till the close of the day. Keep me oil, keep me burning, keep me burning. In my life, I pray, I pray. Keep me burning, 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 keep me oil. Oh, give me oil. Keep me born in my life. I pray, I pray. I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Come walk, walk me, the Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day, day after day. Oh, day after day. Oh, I live. Spirit, I will obey. Oh, I live for Jesus day after day. Oh, day after day. 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 Oh, day after day, day after day, 